everyone welcome back to my channel I'm going to be doing a very small unboxing today let me show you what it is so I got this package in the mail um, I believe it was Saturday yeah and it's actually from a wig company who I am collaborating with um, for a future video I'm not on this channel but on my main channel so I'm going to be opening this up today now before I begin I do want to light a little bit of incense Why? Because I feel like it. <laughs> Usually whenever I'm going to be focusing on something for a little bit of a while, or a little while, I like to light some incense. I know some people like to do this to cleanse the area they're in, but um, I just use this because it smells good. So I got this um, incense holder from Walmart about, I'd say, two months ago. And I have this um, little stick of incense right here, which I also got from Walmart. just going to stick that in that looks pretty good See if I can actually light this the first time because as you can see this box is a little bit worn out. There we go. Can you hear it? Okay. Come on. get this going okay it's going I don't know if you can see it but it's smoking a little bit. Let me blow this one more time. Should be good to go. I'm going to move this aside because I need to open this box. On camera, of course. All right. All right, so as I said before, 
This is a wig from a wig company. And I believe they're based in Asia. China, that is. However, this wig in particular was shipped from the US, but the actual company is in China. They asked me to pick out a, a wig of any sort from their store a little while ago to use in a makeup tutorial, which um, I readily agree to because I love my wigs. So, what I got was a very, very long black wig. I don't actually own very many black wigs, so I thought I would um, invest in a new one. Okay, so What I'm going to do is cut it open, of course. Let's start right here. And it does list their Instagram handle on here, so turning this to the side. Pro Beauty Amazon. This brand, as far as I know, they are only on Amazon, so Pro Beauty at Amazon.com. I'm going to reach inside, and it appears this right here is a um, wig cap, and it's in black, which you do want for this wig because um, they usually come in like a skin tone or a black tone, and naturally if you're going to be wearing a um, very um, dark or black wig such as this, you do want the wig cap to be dark as well. So it all looks very seamless on your head. FYI. So it's very stretchy. is good because I have a big head. My head is huge. Okay. I'm gonna put that back into these little what you might call it, 
Ziploc bag. Fun part. So here's the wig right here. As you can see, let me show you it. It's a lace front. Lace front wigs always come with a lot of lace in the front, which you can cut away if you so desire to. Now the advantage of lace front wigs is that it looks like it looks more natural on your head as opposed to your everyday standard wig. You can also pluck the individual hairs along the hairline to make it better suit your actual hairline. I personally have not done that before because I'm just a little bit afraid of how it'll turn out. Maybe I should try. Just bring it out of its netting in case you can't tell what's in its netting. Okay, I apologize for that noise. I was really thirsty, so I drank some water, but I want to show you the inside. Let's see if you can see it in here, but if you do buy a high quality lace front wig, it'll always have some combs inside. There and this will allow the wig to better hook onto your hair so it won't budge around all day. Very useful. So it has three total cones one on each side, on the left and the right, and one right around where the lace front netting starts on top so right here and you do get a standard amount of lace so pretty usual And it is connected to this. And here's the tag it comes with. Let me read it out to you. Best wig, most beautiful you. 
Okay. Made in China. Professional wig manufacturer. Synthetic fiber. Made in China. They really want you to know it's made in China. So the item is A002 quality class, grade A, material imported synthetic, fiber cap, breathable cap. Carrying and cleaning instructions. Number one, put it on with the wig stand when wig is in spare. <laughs> um, there is some major English going on here. <laughs> what I think they just mean is just to put it on a wig stand when you're not using it. Number two, use lukewarm water. Under 40 degrees, I'm guessing this is Celsius. To wash it with proper conditioners. Gently blot it with a towel, then air dry. Then air dry it on a wig stand. Number three, place it in a well ventilated area so the net can dry completely. Four, don't, in capital letters, so don't, don't, comb the wig till it is completely, completely dry, and comb from tail to top, so, not, I cannot speak today, I apologize, but, do not comb from top to bottom, comb from bottom to top. And number five, specific hairspray is suggested to enrich the wig gloss and expand its service life. So add hairspray if you want to. I usually do not. So that's the entire tag thing here. Alright, so first I'm going to comb through the hair to ensure no loose strands are going to be in the way when I cut the lace right here because that would suck quite a lot. I apologize if you hear a weird noise outside. I do not know what it is. But it's really loud, so I don't know.
And I'm just going to cut away any loose strands with my scissors, per usual. I know some people usually keep the loose strands, but from personal experience, when I wear a wig and I haven't snipped these away, they get into my eyes. And to that is no fun. I'm just going to snip those away. Plus, I only use these wigs for Shido Nori, not for daily use. Don't have an issue with my real hair. I just like to change it up whenever I'm in full costume. Just here, I don't know if you can see it, but the hairline right around here is pretty thin. Isn't it a bit strange? I hope it looks all right when I put it on. So, let me begin snipping. I'm only going to be cutting in from the front side here because I need to actually wear this on my head to see where I should cut on the sides because my hairline is a little bit weird. So from here to here. don't want to cut off all the lace, you know, just around here. Otherwise, if you cut it way too short, it becomes harder to, you know, adjust the hairline. So, pro tip. Okay. 
Okay, let's get this here. to be styling this actually for a very interesting video. That's going to be a makeup look, a shooting or makeup look. Based on my 23andMe DNA results. In case you don't know what that is, that is a genetic DNA service that tries to pinpoint where your DNA is from in the world and therefore finding out where your ancestors are from. Now as far as I knew before I was half Korean and half Swedish, but through this service I learned I was also around 17% Southern European, 5% um, Mongolian, okay. Let's pluck some hairs. Now, on my natural hairline, I do have a slight widow's peak. About right here. Da, da, da. Okay, that didn't work so well. There we go. That didn't go so well. A little bit of a learning curve. I do apologize. A little bit hot in here, so this sounds like I'm dying out of breath. That's why.
getting a little bit white. Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.